More text messages have been revealed this week from Laura Ingram, Fox News host, to Mark Meadows, the then chief of staff to Donald Trump, when these text messages were sent. And these new text messages kind of build upon the text messages that have already been released from Laura Ingram to Mark Meadows. And they give us an even bigger picture of just how deceptive and greedy Laura Ingram really is. Because here is what these new text messages has to have to say. Here it is. Uh, this again, Laura Ingram to Mark Meadows, who was then Donald Trump's chief of staff. And for the record, this was about a week after the Capitol riot last year, a week after here's what she said. Remarks on camera, discouraging protest at state capitals, especially with weapons will be well advised given how hot the situation is. Everyone needs to calm down and pray for our country and for those who lost their lives last week. Um, so you're worried or you were worried the week after the insurrection, when Republicans said, uh, uh, we're going to go to state capitals and start protesting there, that these individuals were going to show up with weapons, that they were likely going to get violent, but that's only what you were saying in private. Publicly on your show, you were trying to cast the Capitol riot as some kind of Antifa attack on the government or Antifa false flag or however you want to call it. You were trying to blame Antifa throughout all of this because you're a grifter, because that's what you do. You go on the air every night and lie to people. And now we know that you're knowingly lying to them. You're feeding them BS that even you don't believe. That's why you're a grifter. That's why you're greedy. Cause you will say anything for money, even things that you know are not true. And now you're busted by the words from your own text messages, Laura. We can see clearly who you are at this point, but most of us already knew that. The thing is your audience is the one that needs to be paying attention to this. Because even on the day of the Capitol riot on January 6th itself, you went on the air that evening and blamed this on Antifa. But that was the same day that you sent Mark Meadows this text message. Mark, the president needs to tell the people in the Capitol to go home. Can he make a statement? Ask people to leave the Capitol? Oh, I'm sorry. That was Sean Hannity. Who's also cast a doubt on this. You know, that it was Trump supporters trying to say that, oh, maybe it was Antifa. Maybe the FBI was involved. Gee, seems to me that all of these Fox news personalities knew what was going on, knew who these individuals were, knew how violent they had the potential to be, but they go on the air and they say the exact opposite. They're liars for money. And again, we know that this isn't for us. This isn't to just reaffirm what we already knew. This is clear cut evidence for the audience of Fox news to understand that these people they tune into day in and day out are lying to them because they make millions and millions of dollars every year, feeding them a false narrative that even they don't believe. That's the point of all of this folks. These people know what they're saying is not accurate. They know they're making things up. So I have another message here too, because it's not just the audience, the producers, they put these segments together and maybe they're told to do it. Maybe they're helping come up with this on their own, but it is not just the hosts. There is a rot at Fox news that goes all the way through that staffing. Those people are just as liable for this as, as, as Laura Ingram or Sean Hannity are. They know they are peddling lies. They know they're pushing deception on the public, but they don't care as long as they keep getting that paycheck. But now the text messages are out there for everyone to see if they choose to look. And that's the problem, isn't it? Getting Republicans to actually look at the truth. Well, I hope they look at this because Ingram is a total fraud. Hannity is a total fraud. All of them 
are complete and total frauds. And trust me, behind closed doors, they're not talking about all these Republican conspiracies. No, they're laughing at how gullible their audience is. And for the record, yeah, they're laughing all the way to the bank.